How's it going, Scum community, and welcome to this video. Uh, this is exciting times for Scum. As we all know, the Man Eater update just dropped, and a lot of people are jumping in, trying to figure out how to build bases, you know, how to how to take advantage of all the new content that just got put in. So in this video, we're gonna jump straight into how to build a basic cabin base. So whether you are uh, been on scum for a while or you're just somebody who's seen all the glorious pictures that people have been posting of their bases that they built and uh you left scum and you decide to come back and jump into this and try out the new content whatever you are wherever you sit at we're going to quickly go over how to build a ba basic cabin base and uh show you how to get started get a home and uh, get things going in scum so there's some things first that you need to do or what you would need to get before you start so basically um, the prep work do not get started building a base until you have these things I wouldn't recommend you getting started until you have these things uh, first thing you're gonna need is uh, at least three white toolboxes and one red toolbox uh, you're gonna need an a axe or a hatchet of course so you can gather wood uh, it's recommended that you have a vehicle. I'll recommend it because it's gonna make this way easier because building a base in scone can be very time-consuming uh, You're gonna need at least 10 scrap metal minimum If you don't have 10 scrap metal don't start I guarantee you're gonna be very disappointed and last but not least You're gonna need at least an hour or two hours time because like I said, it's very time-consuming and uh, you, You're gonna want to be able to you know get started and finish all the way through before you get done so anyway um, if you have all those things good we can get started going to the build if not make sure you grab those things and then come back and get ready to build a base so now the bill okay so the bill the first step is basically to find an area where it's buildable or you can build that uh, preferably flat somewhere near a lot of trees that way it's gonna make building time and uh, harvesting time a lot quicker a lot faster for you uh, I would recommend building your base away from roads uh, that way you know you're kind of a little bit more secluded and you'll draw a little less attention to your base you know less likely to get I guess raided or uh, draw the attention of other prisoners on the island so uh, find you a good spot, uh, find somewhere that you can uh, really, really enjoy, really, really like, somewhere kind of close to loot areas, I guess. Or you can go just hermit and, you know, be somewhere along the wall, somewhere on the map. On the map. It's all up to you. But uh, anyway, when you find you a good spot, next thing you want to do is set down a 2x2 two two foundation. Uh, and when I say 2x2, two two, that means uh, you need to build four foundations snapped together. And uh, this is pretty easy. Basically, just like I said, you find a flat area, you put down one. Once you put down one, uh, you want to start gathering materials for it. And to build a foundation, it requires five logs, 15 planks, and uh, 15 toolbox points. So, once you uh, found a spot, just put it down, start gathering your material cutting down trees and just moving all of your materials to your spot to uh, get your foundations placed. This is probably the easiest part. Uh, it doesn't take long to gather materials to make the foundation. Um, if you have a vehicle, it just makes it way, way quicker though. Uh, the beautiful thing about having a vehicle is you can actually stack uh, logs into the back of the truck and it usually can hold about five, I think maybe six. Uh, I know for sure four to five logs. And uh, that just makes just the travel time way quicker when moving logs back and forth for your foundations. And planks is just super easy. The truck or any other vehicles can uh, fit a ton of plank stacks. So just stack them up and just uh, toss them in the back of the storage and just haul them to your necessary area. But uh, anyway, you'll eventually get into a groove and you'll start getting your foundations laid down pretty quickly. Once you finish one, just jump on top of it and uh, it should snap in place when you uh, try to put down a next one or another one that way uh, you don't have any issues and like I said this is where the flat area comes into play you don't want to get you know several foundation foundations down and find out you can't put another one or snap another one to another spot because the foundation isn't even so having a flat foundation is very very important okay once you get your 2x2 two two foundation down great good progress now the fun part begins now you can actually place your wood cabin or start placing the foundation or the blueprints for your wood cabin on 
top of your two by two foundation set up. Uh, this is a little, little, uh, it's a little leeway in this, but it's, it can be kind of wonky. Uh, the cabin has to be somewhat centered. You can't be too far to the left or you can't be too far to the right. There's a little bit more, I guess, leeway forward and back per se. It's, it kind of depends on how you're looking at the foundation, but uh, you'll find a sweet spot in uh, how you want to place your cabin. But once you have your, your cabin placed on your foundation, now the really time consuming part starts because the requirements for building a wooden cabin are 30 logs, 15 planks, 10 scrap metal, and between 30 to 50 toolbox points. I'm not completely certain. Uh, I say 50 at the most because I think it is 50, but uh, somewhere between 30 to 50. But anyway, once you uh, have your blueprint set up for your wood cabin, you should be able to snap it on top of your foundations so you can start building. Now, uh, the quickest way to start building this cabin and start getting logs is basically the same blueprint as you did when you were you know, building your foundations. Utilize your vehicle, put logs in the back of your vehicle, put planks in the back whenever you get to that point. I would focus on doing one at a time, do logs first, then do planks, because planks are a lot quicker and easier. But uh, you want to be really, really close to a tree line though. When you're close to a tree line, it really, really helps with picking up a lot of logs at once and not having to move around a lot. But uh, <laughs> little by little, <laughs> you'll whittle down on that number and eventually you'll get all your logs placed. Once you get that place, get your planks in, your scrap metal, and congrats, you will have the bases of your cabin set up on your foundation. All you have to do now, and the last step, is just simply uh, secure your cabin, put a wooden door on it, which is pretty easy. Um, one thing you also want to do is make sure you secure your door. Uh, you want to put, you could, well, you have a couple options here. You could spend some fame points to put on uh, a lock. Uh, the minimum is 100. 150 for a silver and 200 for a gold or you can find some padlocks and if you have any remaining to remaining toolbox points love craft some very basic uh very basic locks to put on your door i would recommend putting on at least one gold lock and the others you can just put just basic locks on but i would recommend at least one gold lock just to make it that much that much more secure and much more difficult for people to break in or pick lock into uh, once you do that, just uh, set the interior of your base up, throw down a bed, put it on a campfire, and then build a storage uh, storage box so you'll be good to go. But uh, man, congratulations at that point. Uh, everything should be good. You should have your cabin base up. And from there, you can just build and uh, fortify it and expand it however you please. But that's it, guys. I uh, hope this guy helps. Go out there, build your nice home, get things going. Enjoy your scum community, man. <laughs> anyway, take care. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.